In this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, we're going to learn three different ways to crop your image or your videos. Hello and welcome to a new video and welcome to my channel if it's the first time for you to tune in. We're going to talk about the crop effect in Premiere Pro and we're going to learn when and why we're using this effect. The first reason that comes to my mind to use the crop effect is to have multiple images or video playing at the same time inside the same frame. Something like this. I also use the crop effect to create letter boxes, like those two bars at the top, at the bottom of your screen to make your video more cinematic. Another example when I use uh, the crop effect is when I want to talk to myself, basically. Oh, you want my, what's going on? See you later. Yeah, something like that. When I want to have two myself in the same clip. Nowadays, I use the crop effect most of the time when I'm actually recording tutorials, like today. Mom, are you there? Yeah, here working. Right, can you move me to the bottom left of the screen, please? Okay. Something like here. Super, that's fine. Perfect. Going for my pasta now. Italians. Now that you know when to use the crop effect, bear in mind that this tutorial is not about cropping a sequence. So if you want to know how to change the aspect ratio of your sequence for Instagram posts or stories, then go and check this tutorial. That's a completely different thing. Now let's find out three ways to crop your videos or images in Premiere Pro. The first way to create the crop effect is actually not the crop effect, but we're gonna use a mask in the opacity of a clip of a layer. And we want to have open the effect controls panel. Go to window if you don't have it and choose effect controls. And that's where I'm gonna have it. Now you want to have some clips to work on and I have my fashion clips right here. I drag the first one on the first video track on the timeline. To achieve this effect, you want to have each clip on a different track. So this is my first clip, nothing is happening. My soundtrack is already chopped where I want the second clip to come in. I'm gonna take the second clip, bring it here on my cut on V2, the second video track. That's where it comes in. But for now, I've got two layers one on top of the other. So what I want to do is to go and select the clip on track two, go to opacity and create a rectangular, a, po a polygon mask. So uh, just a rectangular shape over my image. And I click on it, a rectangular mask appeared in the program panel. What I'm gonna do is to change the size of it. I want to see my model. So what I'm gonna do is to take the two key point on the left hand side of the mask Hold shift and drag the two points to the left. If you hold shift, you will create straight lines in your mask. If you don't, you can select each individual key point and move it randomly around the program panel and you can create more organic and artistic masks. But that's a different tutorial, so let's keep it as a crop effect. I'm gonna do the same with the right hand side key points move them to the right and also increase the height of my mask. So take the top key points, bring it there. And that's kind of what I want to do. Now for this effect, for the crop effect, the mask will come automatically with a feather. I show you here. So the feather is already at 10%. We want to go down to zero, type zero and you're ready to go. What I'm gonna do next is to move the position of this clip. So I'm going to motion, position, just drag the clip down. And that's all I want. As the clip in the background is still a bit hidden, I select it on V1, chop it here on the first cut, select the second part of the clip and move that as well higher. So we've got that. I just extend the second clip to cover the whole video. And now I'm gonna do exactly the same with the third clip. So I take it from my prog project panel, take it down on my cut right there. 
and I'm gonna cut it here, delete it. This is the third clip and of course it's covering all the rest. So what we're gonna do is once again to select it, go to the rectangular mask in opacity and then this time I'm going to increase its height. Don't forget to hold shift to create a, like a straight lines mask. I'm also gonna center it better by moving the keyframe to the left, adjust the top keyframes and the bottom ones. That's it. Now we just need to move the clip once again in the motion position. I'm just going to the right hand side for the clip and I'm gonna take the feather to zero and I'm gonna move the other clips underneath. So I'm gonna chop them here, both of them. I take the second clip, move it to the left, take the first clip, move it. Actually that works where it is. And that's your first way to crop some videos or images in Premiere Pro. Of course you can animate the masks as always, you can animate almost all the effects in Premiere Pro. If you want to do so, let's do it quickly on the third clip. Let's say I want the mask to come in at a certain point. I just go at the beginning of my clip. In the mask I've created in the path, I'm going to the stopwatch and create a keyframe right there. After a few frames, I'm gonna take the two key points on the left hand side and drag them out of the frame. And that's what's happening with your mask. It's a very quick transition, so you can use this effect for transitioning as well. Of course, you need to adjust the clips in the background to make it look better. In my tutorials, I always try to give you different ways to achieve the same result. So I'm gonna do in this tutorial. So let's find out the second way. And first of all, if you don't know what I'm talking about here, if you don't know how to animate a clip, what, where to find your effects, go and check my online course, Adobe Premiere course. It's a complete 14 hours tutorial where you will find everything from scratch about the software to achieve the confidence to follow me in this tutorial. So go and check it out. It's the best seller on Udemy, but go and check it on my website because it's cheaper and you also can win some giveaways. Now, the second way to achieve the crop effect is the linear wipe. And I've used the linear wipe to create the letterbox you've seen before, the two bars. So let's do that quickly. I'm gonna take just a clip and drag it on my timeline on V1 once again. We don't need any other clip. So what we're gonna do is to go to the effects window. If you don't have it, go to window and choose effects. And I type linear to look for linear wipe. Now we have it, you select it, drag it on your clip and we're gonna go back to the effect controls. Let's go at the beginning of our clip on the timeline right there. What we're gonna do is to animate it. You will see here in the effect controls under linear wipe, there's a transition completion. So if you drag up the number, you will see the clip disappearing because it's being cropped. And that's a transition again. It's exactly the same thing. What we're gonna do for now is to type the amount 10. That's how much I want to crop my video. But also you will have a wipe angle. With a wipe angle, if we drag it, you can change the direction, the angle of your wipe of your line, your crop. To make sure it's correct and straight, type 180. And that's my top bar. Also, there's a feather option. As before, uh, we don't want any feather for this effect. Let's animate quickly the bars. What we're gonna do is to create a keyframe here at the very first frame of your clip. Type zero to the completion, transition completion. There's no wipe so far. We're gonna move forward a few frames and we're going to type 10 again to create a new keyframe. You'll see here, we've got two keyframes already. And we're gonna do the same towards the end of our clip. Well, I'm not going to the end. I'm going here somewhere just to make the bars disappear. So what's happening so far? That's our original frame and the bar is just animated to come down and crop our video in a way because there's nothing else behind our video. And to show you, I'm just taking this clip, taking it to the track number two, taking a different clip and just bring it underneath it and you will see here uh, the second clip. So literally there's nothing behind our first clip. 
Let's go back. And now at the end of our clip, we are going to animate the line to fade away. So what I'm going to do is just to create a keyframe here, exactly as the previous one. Then I'm moving forward a few frames and take down the transition completion to zero. And my bar disappeared. So it comes in, it stays and it goes. To create the bar at the bottom, very simple. We just need to go here on linear wipe, press Command C to copy the effect, click on the gray area in the effect controls panel and press Command V to paste the effect. Nothing is happening because the wipe angle is exactly the same as the previous effect. So we go to the second linear wipe, change the wipe angle to zero. That's our bottom bar. If I play from the beginning, comes in, stays, goes away. That's your second way to crop your videos. Third way, and this is actually the crop effect. How weird. I used the crop effect in the third and fourth example I showed you at the beginning of the tutorial. So I used it when I was talking to myself and that's very simple. We're gonna do it right now. I'm gonna take the very first clip, drag it to V1 once again. That's me talking and I'm gonna take the second clip. Now here's the trick is to match the voices. That's just timing and it's going to be part of a different tutorial maybe. Now let's just work on the crop effect. As always, the second clip is covering the first clip. So this time we go to the effect panel and type crop. We're going to take the crop effect, drag it to the clip on the highest track, V2. Now we go to the effect controls panel and there it is. That's our crop effect. Now you will see different options, left, top, right and bottom and also the feather as before. I just show you what's happening. If I drag the left value, the clip is going to be cropped from the left hand side to the right hand side and so on with all the other options. So top from the top, right from the right and bottom from the bottom. If I add a feather, it's going to blend with the clip underneath a bit more. Let's keep it to zero for now. And also the bottom. There it is. What I've done in this example, I just cropped my video on track two from the left around here, around a 50%, 52%. Now, if I play my videos, you will see there's a tiny bit of a difference in terms of exposure. The clip on the right hand side is a bit brighter because the light was changing. So you can simply do that with the Lumetri panel, just match your uh, backgrounds. I'm going to do it very quickly. I simply changed the exposure of the second clip. So that's the first tip. Make sure the two clips actually match before applying the crop effect. Now, if I play from the beginning, what's happening here? I've got Mamo number one already in shot and then the second one is coming and then it goes away but I change my position and now you can see I use the crop effect so we need to animate it to make it like a linear wipe to make it disappear. So what I'm gonna do is to choose the time code on the timeline where I'm actually cropping my first clip right here. I go to the crop effect and here I start to animate my crop. So I'm gonna move to the right and you will see there's a tiny bit of difference still here. So you can see the exposure changing and that's actually a reference for me. And then I'm just following the second mammal that is going out of the frame. So until here, up to here, I can just make it disappear I can just move the crop effect a bit more and then Mamo is disappearing and I just make the frame disappear completely. And this is what I've got. Nice, now you've got two of you in the same frame. Why would you do that? The last example was when I used the crop effect in my tutorials, like today. I take one clip and drag it this time to V2, not V1. V2. I go to effects, I already got the crop effect right there, drag it on my clip, go to the effect controls panel, this time we're not animated, we just go and crop it from the left at uh, maybe 30%, 
I do the same with the right hand side, 30% to make it even. I crop a bit of the top, maybe five, and a tiny bit from the bottom, 10. So that's actually what you can see more or less right now. But this is much bigger. So what I'm gonna do in this situation is to scale it down maybe to 30%. And that's me, tiny me. And also I'm gonna reposition it. So you can go to motion and just simply go to the program panel with the cursor, with the selection tool, and just drag your tutorial ready image wherever you want, to the right or to the left corner, to the top, wherever. What I've got left to do is to add the second image on the background. And let's take, for example, one of the fashion ones. And there I am. I'm just talking over the other image. Now, conclusion, you've got three ways to crop your videos or images. What I would recommend is always to use the crop effect. For me, it's the more efficient and more precise. So you can literally digit all the values you want. I would use the linear wipe if you actually have some issues in using the crop effect. That's what I heard. Some users have problems in using the crop effect. So that's when I would use the linear wipe or also to create a simple transition. Using the mask in the opacity is more flexible, it looks more organic and it gives you more freedom and creativity to create a different type of crop. So I hope this tutorial helped as all the others go and check them out and also don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, but go and check my online courses to learn more and enhance your video editing and filmmaking skills. I can't wait to see you in the next video. So take care and thanks for watching. Memories fall up the road